2021 was one of the most memorable and biggest sardine runs we've seen in a long time. And many of us will remember this one as millions and millions of sardines came up our coastline. And as with many days, Pamula was the place to be again, as several nets were pulled at Pamula and further up the beach by Sharks Bay. The net at Sharks Bay was so full that when they filled all the crates they had to release almost half the net. Several people came to help themselves with some sardines and a number of sardines washed up on the beach. Now as we've learned by now, when this happens it could turn into a very good fishing area. As we spotted some sharks in the back, that afternoon however we didn't get a bite, but we were sure to be back the next morning. Sharks Bay. Yesterday, sides were everywhere. A lot of nets right through past Ebedee and past uh, Port Shepston. They got a lot of Garrick yesterday at Port Shepston. A lot of guys lost sharks here at Uzumbi. We fished here yesterday afternoon. Nothing. Keegan just went on there. Uh, sure, I think it's 11 o'clock already. No bites until now. And Keegan's just gone tight. Just re drop a bit after the fish is landed. There's plenty of fish in the sea, so nice enough cash, German, all winding out. If you want this angler to land his fish? It's a decent fish. So let it be his PB, but no issues. All the other anglers reeled in their baits to clear the playing field for Keenan to land his fish safely. Hooking these amazing big animals is a blessing and we always make sure that there is nothing in our power that could potentially let them lose the fish. Keenan made short work of this and got the dusky into the shallows. The water was fairly low already. Ketch was quick onto the bank to put the tail rope around and slowly guide the fish to the bank. What a 
magnificent specimen, and after a quick few photos and getting the measurement, this specimen was released safely. It is important to keep it on the wet sand, any fish for that matter, when you want to release them. The less you have to drag them over sand, or potentially let them land on dry sand, the better. Alright guys, here we've got a nice fish here, nice bit of 40 centimeters. Uh, fish are swimming in the top here for a while, obviously we've got the bank is there. So just before we can go to grab him again, we'll over that bank. It's actually still out nicely. Well done to get him. Good fish. Hopefully this is the start. We need to get more. Let's have a top one. Oh, what an awesome catch, huh? Yes, thanks everyone, yeah. I'll pick it. No problem, do it anytime. Is it a PB? on the beach meeting some drone anglers um, a massive improvement from four years ago and all gentlemen everybody helps everybody it was such a pleasure actually coming across and meeting the guys and I must say well done to drone angling um, really really leading by example being friendly polite and helpful on the beach everybody helps everybody and it's been it's been awesome um, Ken's in the back, he grabbed almost, he was involved with almost every fish grab. So is Paolo. Paolo is our new ambassador um, from Jeffrey's Bay. And uh, yeah, this is the second fish. The first fish that I popped, and honestly, all the drone anglers I've met in the last three weeks all had the right tackle. Uh, proper tackle to handle these bigger fish. And I think that's awesome. Well done, guys. Finally, on with the fish. <laughs> it's been a long wait. We dropped the bed out uh, 680 meters. So, still got a far way to go. Thanks to Kesh. Finally, on with it. It's gonna be a couple more minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes. Maybe 10. <laughs> A nice feisty blackfin showed its face and the angler made easy work by using the right tackle. This fish was released still green and swam off very strong. <laughs> Alright guys, so, still, uh, as you guys know, follows our latest addition to the ambassador team. So congrats bro, and so on, team. Eh? nice having you here. Pleasure. Finally you got your fish before you left, yeah? <laughs> Finally, after a long wait. How many, how many more meters yeah. before you land him? I think it's about 500 to go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so, quite a bit of a fight. 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. Pull him, 10 minutes. So, yeah, guys. guys it's it's good that Paolo got a fish before he left back to uh, Jeffy's. Hopefully, it's a bus. Let's break a 3 hour mark. Hopefully. See you guys soon as fish is landed. Paolo was so busy helping everybody else over the two weeks he was here that we were very glad when he eventually had a fish on the line. And what a prize fish to end it off. One of his wish list sharks he always wanted to target. A good size Sambezi shark, also referred to as bull shark.
Alright guys, follow us for Zambi. We wanted a Zambi, he said it's deep fish. We got it, finally. Thank you. How are you feeling? Yo, bro, I'm so excited. Uh, that's good. Hopefully tomorrow we can even this grey, but hey, Definitely. Zambi is better than the grey any day. I came well, down for that fish for two weeks, bro. I've been searching for it. Finally, bro. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you to all for watching ASFN and thank you for everybody that subscribed already. Please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell notification button to receive notifications every time we upload a video. Also like this video as that really helps us.